first, let's see how we can add a reviews with photo and or video. To install the plugin, upload the zip file here. In this part, we'll learn how to design reviews and review form. First off, let's see the first three options. The anchor link, which scrolls down to the WooCommerce Reviews tab, links to your review form after the product link in the review reminder. Or when user clicks on filter, this option provides control over the quantity of reviews that a customer can post. An important note is that to use this option, you must disable this checkbox first. And this option is to allow users to leave a review for all items in their orders in one page. We'll learn more about this option in a few more parts. Now the settings below are for review form. We'll use these options. And what's more, you can add optional fields to the review form. It's done in the settings tab. Show optional field of variation for variable products, and customer can select specific variations they're leaving review for. You can add or remove optional field and set them up as you want. Check the instruction here to set them up. For customizing reviews, use the remaining options in the Reviews Settings tab. Sort Reviews determine the default position of the Review tab on Product Page, Star Color, Author Name, Verified Owner Badges or Text, Image or Video Caption and Helpful Button. There are two review styles, Grid and Normal. With Grid Style, reviews will be displayed in masonry layout. Reviews are laid out so there aren't any uneven gaps, and they can be open as a pop-up. Set up the grid reviews with pop-up style, image size filter and pagination, load more button, content length pop-up and number of columns on desktop and mobile. With review date, by default it's the date format in WordPress settings. But you can add your custom format here. With normal style, reviews are displayed in their default design. Configure reviews in this style with these options. This feature enables sharing reviews among items in the same group, ensuring that each product within the group displays the same set of reviews. On the front end, customers will encounter identical reviews on every product page within this product group. Simply select items for each group by entering their title. This feature allows you to add rating count, overall rating, and filters too before the reviews. In the reviews section on product page, simply enable them and set them up using options in the settings. With filters, select default selected filters if needed.
This function is useful to encourage customers to leave a reviews, as it'll send a coupon email to thank them for each feedback they left. First, enable this option. This option is to allow only customers who received review reminder email and hit the review now button to leave a review. Review form description is text that shows up in the review form and add a custom from address. If you want, now you can add or remove rules for review coupon as per your needs. They'll be checked from top to bottom. Customers whose reviews meets the conditions of the first found rule will receive the coupon of that rule. In general settings, it's the rule name. Configure the conditions of coupon rule. In the condition settings, here contains all requirements. The review author must fulfill to receive a coupon by leaving a review, like uploading image or video, verified owner, their given rating, products and categories conditions. In the coupon settings, you can set up coupon that will be sent to customers. The settings are the same as WooCommerce coupons. And lastly, it's the email settings to set up the coupon email, edit the email subject, heading and content. With email content, you have our supported short codes to display dynamic info. You can insert your own customization using text editor, add media and preview email. This function will send an email to customer after they purchase. First, enable the function, then select the order status, so the email is only sent when the order status is set to one of these. Exclude email address, products, or categories if needed. Scheduled to send email, and set up the email body with subject, heading, and content. Just like the coupon email, you have shortcodes, text editor, media, and preview mode supported. But more than the coupon email, is the order items and the email reminder, which can be customized with these options. Below is the auto login function, that redirects users to the review form, and auto log them into their account without any other actions required. When they click the review now button, you can exclude specific user roles, select a page to make it review page, and customer will be redirected to this page instead of review form on the product page. We'll learn more about this review page in the shortcode tutorial. Lastly, add a review button in the orders section of customers my account. Review reminder email can be sent more than one time. Emails are repeatedly sent based on the settings configured on this page. They will continue to be sent until there are no more scheduled email reminders. Or if the customer leaves a review. If a review is submitted, the system will automatically stop sending further reminder emails. Even if there are remaining scheduled reminders. Here, you can set the exact sending time the number of resend attempts, and customize the email template for each scheduled email. Let's check the result. Customer reviews can be edited in the backend. Go to Products, Reviews. First, we can filter reviews to find the ones we need to modify. By title, review type, rating, and with or without images. After you find your target reviews, edit them in bulk with these options. But to edit review details, as well as the content, it must be done in each review individually. With Quick Edit, there's only review content author name and email address, and URL, but with edit review page, you can edit even review title, rating, video, photos, and review status. This function allows you to add reviews manually. All you need to do is to go to this add a review page, select your target products, and add a reviews with details you want here. Your ideal content, rating even the photo, video, that's pretty much it. A common way to import reviews from an unsupported source is using CSV file. We can help with that. You need to create a CSV file first. Let's just get the file using export reviews function. Filter the reviews you want to export. Now after you got the file, start adding or editing reviews. When you're happy with what you've added, then upload the file to import reviews. Go to import reviews in the plugin settings and choose the file. Then click continue. Set up the settings and map all the required fields.
In this part, we'll learn how to import reviews from AliExpress and Amazon. There's a tutorial video that will guide you step by step. First step is to install the Chrome extension. Later, you'll use this secret key to connect the Chrome extension to your site. Then, set up the imported reviews. Which item to import reviews to? Review status after being import. Review vote, verified owner, and other settings. There must be at least one chosen item in import reviews too. Now, we'll connect the Chrome extension using secret key. Copy it and paste here, and that would be it. Let's do a quick test on AliExpress. Import each review one by one. Or import reviews in bulk. Same with Amazon reviews. Another way to import reviews from AliExpress is to use API, go to products list in the back end. Here you import reviews from AliExpress to each product you want using AliExpress product ID. Configure the remaining conditions and click import. This can also be done in the product editing page. Other than importing reviews for individual products like this, you can bulk import them as well using this option. Choose the specific products and set up the rules, like importing reviews for single product. Products which have no reviews match the conditions will receive a red failed message. When importing reviews, you may encounter text or strings that require hiding, masking or editing. This function is designed to assist in handling such situations. This field is where you input the text, string you want to locate in the imported reviews. This checkbox determines whether the search should be case sensitive or not, and the replace field is to fill in the text that will replace the found text. Leave it empty to remove the found text, and you can show the country flag of the imported reviews with this option. This function applies to not only AliExpress review content, but also Amazon reviews and review author name. Let's try with a common string on AliExpress reviews. AliExpress shopper, Customers can leave a review right in their My Account orders when their order is set to one of these status. Then a rate button will be available next to that order, and they can use that button to leave a review. If review's orders is off, you can hover over this button, click the item you want to leave a review, and you'll be redirected to the review form on the review page, or the review form on the product page, if no review page. If review's orders is on, this button will redirect you to the review form of all items in your chosen order. You can create a page for reviews using our plugin elements in Elementor. First, create a new page. When you edit the page with Elementor, our plugin provides these four elements. To build a review page first, let's use this photo reviews element. It shows all reviews or specific reviews of some products or categories. A review page may also need a review form. Use the review form element. Now you can customize it to your liking. Assign the review form to all or a certain products. Choose a type for it, change position, and show or hide product details. For the photo reviews element, 
you can also customize it here. Show or hide this element on mobile devices. This option is for cases when the shortcode is used on single product page. You needn't assign a product for it since it'll auto display reviews of the current item. On this review page, leave these field empty to display all reviews or display reviews of selected products only or some specific ratings. With review pagination, you can divide reviews into pages or use a load more button, enable and set up the filters if needed. Same as the rating count. And overall rating. Lastly, design the reviews. What's exceptional in this element is that you can display reviews in slider, but it's important to note that pagination won't work with slider. Choose a style and customize the rest. This is the result of a sample review page. Other than using Elementor elements, you can also use shortcodes. We support four shortcodes. You can view the documentation here for details and watch the tutorial video for a better view. Let's try the review form shortcode. First, copy it. I'll make a new page just for leaving a review. Place the shortcode in the page description. Leave product ID empty to make the form work with all products. And you need to make it the review page by assigning it here. So customers will be redirected to this page when they leave a review via review reminder. And that's pretty much it.